Well, script for everyone. Um, before we get started here, I just want to say I will provide the scripture at the end so that way you guys can see it as I am a dum dum and I forgot to take the full view of the camera off. <laughs> so I apologize for that. This is his word only. <laughs> So today, I wanted to do something a little bit different today and get into, you know, have some communion with you guys. Because we all need some refreshing to, you know, refocus our minds on Jesus and what he's done for us. And, you know, learning about the principalities is good, but we also need to remember Jesus Christ, you know what he did for us that we don't deserve his saving grace you know we really don't none of us do you know anyways i got my wine croft it's a good cheap high-end cheap wine so that's basically what i'm using here so got some flat bread so we can get this out okay all right get your utensils ready <laughs> all right Luke chapter 22 7 through all of this <laughs> 38 then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. See, the Last Supper is also the Passover Supper, guys. He's showing you that he is the Passover Lamb, right? And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover, that we may eat. I got my oatmeal right there too for lunch <laughs> for my food and they said unto him there wilt thou or that we prepare and he said unto them behold when ye are entered into the city there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water follow him into the house where he entereth and ye shall say unto the good man of the house the master saith unto thee where is the guest chamber, and where shall I eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall shew, shew you a, a large upper room furnished, there make ready. And they went and found what he said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour has come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him, and he said unto them, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. You see that? He desires to eat with you. He desires you, guys. He wanted to eat this Passover with his disciples. To show them who he really is. For I say unto you, I will not, or not, any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom or fulfilled in the kingdom of God and he took the cup and gave thanks and take and he said take this and divide it among your amongst yourselves which just me for I say unto you I will not drink the fruit of the vine until the kingdom shall come and he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave them saying this is my body which is given to you do in remembrance of me likewise also the cup after supper saying this cup is the new testament oops did i go too far uh oh Broken and gave unto the same body which is given to you in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after the supper, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood which is shed for you. But behold, 
the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth, as it was determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire amongst themselves which them that should do this thing. And he said unto them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is graced among you, let him be as the younger, and that is chief as he doth serve. Whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth, is not that he that serve, or sitteth at meal, but I am among you as he that serveth. So he is the bread, the servant. Ye are they that which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my Father has appointed unto you, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on the throne, thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The Lord said, Simon, behold, or Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto them, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and into death. Amen to that. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day, before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse, and script and shoes and lacked ye anything and they said nothing then said he unto them but now he that hath purse let him take it and likewise his script and he that knoweth or hath no sword let him sell the garment and buy one for i say unto you that this is written must be accomplished in me and is reckoned among the transgressors for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, there are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. So, and he took the bread and gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given to you. Do this in remembrance of me. one for you guys need to eat of Jesus Christ. We need to take in his words. We need to be serious about our faith. You know, and all right. Likewise, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new testament in my blood, which is shed for you. some decent tasting cheap wine <laughs> that's actually pretty good I you know I wanted to do this to get a little bit of refreshment you know I think we've all been dealing with a bunch of garbage you know a bunch of just evil stuff you know and me <laughs> I definitely been dealing with a lot you know and 
just feel a little bit rejuvenated, you know. And I hope today, tomorrow, and all the days after this, that you always remember Jesus Christ. He is King, and He is Lord. And thank goodness we have a Father that we do. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. As you forgive us our debts, we forgive those. Um, as we forgive our debtors, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory, and, or power and the power and the glory of yours, now and forever. Amen. Sorry about that. You guys have a wonderful day, and remember, he is the truth. <laughs>